What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Rockport, Texas. And we're gonna take a look at an RV floor plan from DRV that I've never shown you before. This is a really, really cool floor plan. And it, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a step up for a lot of folks in terms of what they expect when they look at RVs because this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so before we get started, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button's right there below the video. Really what it does is it lets me know that you enjoy the content I put out. It lets me know that you wanna know when new content comes out because I do all sorts of stuff on RVs, trucks, towing, accessories, hitches, um, you know, towing knowledge, and it's really the best way to know when new stuff comes out. Anyways, yeah, if you could take a moment, subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. All right, so the gross vehicle weight rating on this DRV is a huge 22,000 pounds. Cargo capacity, 2,960 pounds. This is gonna ride on twin 9,000 pound axles. That's pretty crazy. Plus it's gonna have 17.5 inch H rated Goodyear tires. So yeah, this thing is a beast. Um, and you'll see why once we get inside of it. So it's kind of a start from the inside, work our way to the outside. A lot of perks, three and a quarter inch thick sidewalls, tons of insulation, residential style manifold system for all your water connections. If you don't know what that means, it simply means you can shut stuff off on demand. Very cool. This is the DRV 41 FKMB. Full body paint. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. All right, stepping inside, no friction hinge door. If there is a friction hinge door, you really don't feel it because this door is so heavy and thick. But let's quickly pan from the front to the center to the back. We're going to start from the front and work our way back. This thing is huge. 9,000 pound axles, 18,000 pounds worth of axle capacity, which means your tow vehicle is going to handle a ton of weight. So you're going to have to be sure that if you tow this with a pickup truck, it is the heaviest payload package version of a dually you can get because you're going to be transferring probably about 4,500 to 5,000 pounds worth of weight to the back of your vehicle when everything is said and done. And if you don't have a truck that can handle that, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you simply can't stop your vehicle or control it because of what you're towing it with. Now, that said, you may even want to look at a medium duty truck for something like this or even a heavy duty truck like a you know a volvo or a kenworth or a peterbilt something that you can convert to handle something this heavy because this is a very very heavy fifth wheel all right so we are in this enormous kitchen which is on the upper deck it's huge let's start here with the closet space where they give you some extra touch-up paint because it is a full body paint unit you have a whisper quiet air conditioning unit that's above the ceiling here. Those are your return air vents. You have this huge bar space right here. And I believe everything's gonna be soft closing, slow closing for cabinets as well as drawers. Nice MCD day night roller shades. MCD being the higher brand of these. If you see these blackout shades in a lot of RVs, they're usually a generic version of the MCD. Insulated windows, which means they're dual pane. Lots of storage space. All magnetic holds for everything. Again, all soft closing cabinetry. Very cool. You have this cool area right here that actually lights up around the edge. That's why it's spaced off of the wall like that. You have lighting all in the slides as well. This is such a cool unit. LG French door refrigerator. You have a walk-in pantry. And check this out. That's probably one of the largest pantries you'll see in a fifth wheel. Not the largest, I've seen some pretty crazy impressive ones, but this is probably one of the most functional. Coming around this way, check this out. Talk about residential. You have your microwave above your oven, like you see in a lot of homes. Then you have more storage up here. Great place for your cookie sheets, cooking pans, cutting boards, things like that. Then down below, more storage. You have a massive island right here as well. Very, very thick edge to it as well. I love the way this looks. Undermount stainless steel dual basin sink. Nice upgraded sprayer. Check this out. Furion three burner cooktop. Um, you know, I think what would have been nice, honestly, is if they put the full insignia 
stove in here, that upgraded stove, because then you'd have two ovens, which would be kind of revolutionary in an RV. Check this out, real tile backsplash going all the way around. Nice solid surface countertop here. But this does look really nice in here, I gotta admit. And this is all in a slide out, by the way, as is this, but it's a very shallow slide out, so it's not a full depth. Let's take a look at the price. So, this is going to have an MSRP of $233,892. Yeah, this is uh, pretty, pretty expensive. Now, look at this, though. Something you would just never notice unless you saw the paper here has heat pumps on both the air conditioning units. So instead of traditionally having, you know, a heater furnace, this has both a furnace plus heat pumps. That's very cool. Let's see what other options this has on it. Yeah, special flooring. Has a safe with a key access. Has the surge guard on the, um, on the actual unit. The power cord reel. And it has the full timers package. I'm just trying to see if it has any of the things like the, uh, the actual roof structure where it's made out of fiberglass versus PVC. I can't see where it says that. Okay, so we'll walk around and we'll see. I did see disc brakes, so that's nice. Nice little bar area right here. So if you want to watch TV and you want to read the paper, eat your breakfast, your coffee, that's the place you could do it from. And here are all your controls. Plus your breakers, all of that stuff. A little light down there for your stairs. Got theater seating right here. You have your sofa height of bed right here. Again, all dual pane insulated windows. Nice valances, nice cabinetry, nice and light neutral tone to everything. Here's another great spot for a coffee maker or a popcorn maker. Uh, pretty interesting location there. Huge TV on the wall, plus you have your 34 inch Furion panoramic fireplace. Your second AC would be above here. Nice ceiling fan as well. And this is also a small slide out. Right here, I'm guessing, is a spot for your washer dryer. It is. Or just a huge storage closet. Very nice. And you got more cabinetry up top. All right, stepping into the bedroom. First of all, full profile front to back. Super, super tall ceiling heights. If you're above eight feet tall, this is the unit for you. Well, unless you go in the kitchen. King size bed, nice plush pillow top mattress to it. Nice end tables, plus you have your dimmer switches, plus your power outlets over there as well. That's probably enough room for a CPAP actually too, for those of you who need that. TV mounted up here. You can see your whisper quiet ducting here for your air conditioning unit that's above this. Lots of wardrobe space. I mean, this whole wall is pretty much a wall of wardrobe space. Let me back up so you can see. That's really cool. All real hardwoods. Very cool. Okay, stepping into the bathroom. Beautiful, beautiful mirror on the wall. That's backlit. Cabinetry all around. Padded ceiling, if I didn't mention that. Very uh, motorhome-like, so all of that's padded all the way through the unit. This is going to have an on-demand hot water system. This also has a macerating toilet. Basically means it shreds everything up, mixes it with water, so it never clumps up and gets stuck inside of your holding tank. More cabinet storage. More storage right here as well. Beautiful sink. Check that out. Absolutely gorgeous setup in here. It has a beautiful one-piece shower setup along with adjustable wand. Very, very nice. Real hand-laid floor as well. Residential flooring. What do you guys think? This is a cool unit. Now, as far as the color tones, the way some of the cabinets look, uh, the styling isn't 100% my styling. I think... There are folks who will love this and folks who will probably want to go more for like a, a more contemporary look or a more classic look. This is kind of in between. What do you guys think? 
Anyways, let's check out the outside of this DRV. Okay, so starting from the front, beautiful full body paint. This is gonna have the Moride rubber pin box. Basically provides forward backward dampening, helps mitigate some of the shock between the trailer and the truck and the truck and the trailer. This is gonna be your front basement storage. They put some of the thickest, heaviest baggage doors on RVs you can get. This is where you would normally have a generator installed. And then this is where your batteries and hydraulic systems would be. So it's got two batteries on board, can support four, and then your hydraulic systems, inverter, all of that's up here. Coming around, here's one side of your basement storage. Here's your bath deck. You can see that this is all steel because DRVs have a very custom frame that uses all steel reinforcement up front versus an aluminum bath deck and relying on just the I-beam to support the weight of everything. This is a very structural setup. You can see part of it back there as well. It has a reasonable size storage area. Outside of your furnace. You have power out here, so you can put a TV out here as well. Plus a latch to hold the door open. This has the Moride step above on it. This has their 15 inch stacked frame. So twin six inch box tubes that are welded to a three inch box section. And then under the suspension, you actually have an additional boxed section as well. So check that out. That is an insane frame structure. This has the Goodyear G114 tires with Kodiak disc brakes. Very, very reinforced suspension system. And this is also non-traditional leaf sprung. It's independent suspension. So you have one heck of an upgraded suspension system on this unit. Plus, if you ever compare the rack and pinion slide out system to any other RV, you'll see that DRV has just about the largest and heaviest duty rack and pinion system you can get on an RV. You can have more storage back here. similar one back here as well. This is going to have a solid one-piece fiberglass cap on the end. All LED lighting. Absolutely beautiful. And just by looking at it, you can tell that this has more of a motorhome look to it than just about any other fifth wheel on the market. This does have a receiver hitch back here. It's rated for 300 pounds of tongue weight, 3,000 pounds worth of towing capacity, and then you have a seven-way connector right there, but I still don't recommend you tow with a fifth wheel, even one as massive as this. Coming around this way, more storage. This is gonna be another slide. This is actually a cable-driven slide, which is a bit interesting to me. So yeah, you have a cable-driven wardrobe slide. It is a smaller slide, but DRV has very thick sidewalls and they're kind of heavier than probably the norm. So it would have been nice to see a rack and pinion slide or even a, the beneath the floor kind of hidden slide system here. Right here you have another rack and pinion slide. All frameless insulated dual pane windows. Coming around this way, you have your Truma AquaGo on demand water heating system. Here's your wet bay. Very, very motorhome-like. And this hatch over here is locked. But here's your propane hatch. You got two 40-pound propane cans on a slide-out drawer, which is really nice. Very cool. Oh yeah, and I told you I would see what the roof material looks like. I'll have to do that from the other side over here. Uh, this looks like a standard roof. So this is not a fiberglass roof. But what do you guys think? Super huge. Definitely recommend towing this thing with uh, with the maximum capacity dually pickup truck or greater. Um, it is just a beautiful unit overall, and they've done a great job. I do wish some of these slide outs weren't cable driven slides. I'm not too concerned about the smaller ones, and that's really what they've used them on. But your heavier slides are rack and pinion, which is nice. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this unit. I always love to hear the feedback from viewers. Take a moment. Subscribe to my channel if you wouldn't mind. Give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.